Okay, the objectives first is to write and balance chemical equation by inspection method. And next is to write and balance redox equation by ion electron method. The study of relative proportion in which substances react is called stoichiometry. The chemical equation in which the number of moles of reactants, uh, which are molecules or atoms, are in simple whole number ratios are called stoichiometric equation. To present a chemical equation correctly, the equation must be balanced and have the following features. In a chemical equation, there are the left side and right side in which in the middle is the arrow. The species at the left side are called reactants while the species at the right side are called products. When we balance the chemical equation, we only adjust the coefficient in front of the formula. We never change the subscript number in the molecular formula. We are going to balance the chemical equation first by using method 1, which is by inspection method. And second one is by using ion electron method, which is especially for redox equation. In inspection method, normally we write down the unbalanced equation first. Unbalanced equation normally involve the uh, formula for the reactants and products. And make sure we write the correct formula for the reactants and products. Normally, we balance the metallic element first, followed by non-metallic atoms. Then, we balance the hydrogen and oxygen atoms, if we have these atoms. Then, we check to ensure that the total number of atoms of each element is the same on both sides of the equation. For example, the ratio of ferrum, solid, and oxygen gas produce ferrum oxide and this is how we balance the equation four ferrum plus three oxygen gas become two ferrum oxide and this is another example the reaction between glucose c6 h12o6 and oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide and water For redox reaction, there are two types of redox reaction. First, the reaction that occur in acidic medium, and the other one is the reaction that occur in basic medium. Ion electron method is used to balance redox reaction. Redox reaction are chemical reaction in which both oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously. Meaning, in this reaction, oxidation and reduction occur in the same time. So we have the explanation about oxidation and reduction in terms of first in terms of gain and loss of oxygen. So in terms of gain and loss of oxygen, oxidation is gain of oxygen by a substance, while reduction is loss of oxygen from a substance. In terms of gain and loss of hydrogen, oxidation is loss of hydrogen from a substance, while reduction is gain of hydrogen by a substance and we have the explanation about oxidation and reduction in terms of changes in oxidation number based on oxidation number oxidation is increase in oxidation number while reduction is decrease in oxidation number and then we have the oxidation and reduction in terms of electron transfer for oxidation it is something to do with the loss of electron from the substance and reduction is gain of electron 
uh, to the substance. Normally, redox re reaction might occur in SD or basic medium. This is the method on how to balance the redox reaction in acidic medium. The first step are separate the equation into two half equation, which is oxidation and reduction. Second one, balance the atoms of the element except for hydrogen and oxygen. Third, balance oxygen atom by using H2O. It means add H2O at the site which has less number of oxygen. Then we balance the hydrogen atom by using H+, in which we add H+, at the site which has less number of hydrogen. Then we balance the charge by using electron. We add electron at the site which has, has less negative charge. Then we balance the electron for both equations by multiplying each of the half equation with suitable factor. Finally, we sum up the final two half equation and we simplify the combined equation necessary if necessary okay now we look at the example of writing and balance the redox equation by ion electron method for acidic medium okay assume that this reaction proceed in acidic medium we have a uh, dichromate ion Cr2O7 2 minus and ion 2 plus produce chromium 3 plus ion and ion 3 plus ion. And as what I said, assume that this reaction occurs in acidic medium. And how can we balance the uh, redox equation? First, we separate this equation into two half equation. One is oxidation and another half is a reduction equation. Okay, iron 2 plus become iron 3 plus. If you look at this, iron 2 plus lose electron or the oxidation number increase. That means this is half equation for oxidation. And the other half is for reduction, which is dichromate ion produce chromium ion 3 plus. Okay, we just simply uh, pick the species from the equation given here. After we separate into two half equation, for each of the half equation, after we separate into two half equation, for each of the half equation, we balance the atoms of elements other than oxygen and hydrogen first. So that means for the first half equation for oxidation, we balance the iron iron atom. Since the number of ion atom at left and right side is the same, so it's balanced already. For the other half equation, dichromate ion become chromium ion 3 plus. We balance the chromium atom. There are two chromium atoms at the left side. That means we need two chromium atoms at the right side. So we write two here. Then we balance oxygen by using water molecule for both half equation. There is no oxygen uh, for oxidation half equation. So we leave it like this. And for reduction half equation, we have 7 oxygen atom at the left side and 0 oxygen atom at the right side. So that means we need seven water molecule to be placed at the right side. Okay, next we need to balance the hydrogen atom by using H+. We look at both half equation for oxidation and reduction. We look at the half equation for oxidation first. Okay, iron 2 plus become iron 3 plus. There is no hydrogen atom here. We go to half equation for reduction. There is 14 hydrogen atom here. So we need to add here 14 H+. Okay, next, you need to balance the charge by using electron. Look at the charge for half equation for oxidation. Here, here is the charge is 2 positive. 
here is 3 positive. So that means this side contain the right side here uh, contain less electron. That means you need one electron here to balance the charge for the opposite side. For reduction half equation, here the charge is 2 minus. Here is 14 plus. So total here is 12 plus the charge. And here is 6 plus. Here is 0. So here is 6 plus. Here is 12 plus. That means the left side containing less electron. So we add electron that to the side that containing less electron. So you need 6 more electron here. 6 electron, I mean negative 6 and 12 positive. Total is positive 6. So it balances the charge for opposite side. Next we, need to, next, we need to balance the electron for both half equation. The oxidation half equation involves one electron. While the reduction half equation involves 6 electron, that means we need to multiply this with 6. So you get 6 ion 2 plus, 6 ion 3 plus, and 6 electron. And finally, we can combine these two half equations by cancelling this electron. And finally, we will get the overall equation. This is the overall equation. And to make sure your answer is correct, you need to double check the, uh, your final answer. Okay, next we are going to learn on how to balance redox equation uh, by using ion electron method for reaction that occur in basic medium. For reaction that occur in basic medium, in basic medium, the first until the first step until step number seven is the same like in acidic medium. Okay, we repeat the similar step like in acidic method. After we sum up the final two half equation, we add hydroxide ion to both sides of the equation to eliminate H+. Next, 
we may convert H plus and hydroxide to water molecule and finally we simplify the equation. Okay, let us look at the example here. Okay, uh, assuming we are going, we use the same uh, equation uh, for the acidic from the acidic medium until you stop at step number seven for acidic medium. If you do it for basic medium, we proceed for step number eight. See here, we add 14 hydroxide according to the 14 H plus here. So we also add the same number of hydroxide ion at the opposite side. Okay, next. We convert hydroxide and H plus to H2O. Okay, this 14 H plus and 14 hydroxide we convert become 14 H2O while hydroxide at the other opposite side remain as hydroxide indicate that this reaction occur in basic medium and we might simplify the equation if necessary because we have 7 H2O here and it's got 14 H2O here so we simplify the 14 H2O become this is 0, this become 7. So this is the final equation. That is how we uh, balance redox equation that occur in basic medium. Here I show you some important symbols that we normally use in equation. This is symbol for phases. For solid phase, we use S in bracket. For liquid phase, we use L. For gas phase, we use a G. For aqueous solution, a species involved in uh, aqueous solution, we use EQ, aqueous. For catalyst, normally we put catalyst at the top of the arrow. Okay, for species that uh, involve as gas, we use arrow upward. Uh, for reaction that needs temperature or need to be heated, we use symbol triangle here and for precipitation if the reaction occur precipitate we use arrow downward these are normally are some important um, symbol that we normally use in a chemical equation Uh, this is the analogy that we can use to show what is a limiting reactant. I mean, to help you understand what is limiting reactant. For example, if you have 9 slices of bread and 3 slices of cheese and you want to make sandwich. So, which of these bread or cheese will be the limiting reactant? Okay. 2 slices of bread and 1 cheese produce 1 sandwich. Two other slices of bread and one cheese produce another sandwich. And two other slices of bread and another slice of cheese produce one sandwich. And finally, there is no more cheese for making the sandwich. That means the cheese is used up first, is consumed up first, finished first. That means the bread is left in excess. In here, cheese is the limiting reactant. Cheese is used up first and cheese will limit the amount of sandwich produced. Okay, this is another analogy for you to help you understand the limiting reactant. 
We have three brides and we have four grooms. So can you guess which will be the limiting reactant? Uh, of course, at the end of the uh, ceremony, one groom is left. So the bride is the limiting reactant. <laughs> I hope you understand the concept of limiting reactant. The amount of product that we obtain from the experimental is known as actual yield or experimental yield. While the amount of product that we obtain from the stoichiometry calculation from balanced chemical equation is known as theoretical yield. Normally, the actual yield is less than the theoretical yield. There are many factors that influence the value of actual yield, like the experimental condition, the experimental technique, and also the experimental instrument. The percentage yield is the percentage of the actual yield to the theoretical yield time 100. So the formula is percentage yield equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield time 100. So again, I will uh, insist here. Actual yield is the amount obtained from the experiment, the actual amount obtained from the experiment, while the theoretical yield is the amount predicted from stoichiometry calculation based on balanced chemical equation. <laughs> Okay, look at this analogy for you to understand percentage yield, theoretical yield, and actual yield. Let's say you want to produce popcorn from uh, kernels, from corn kernels. Let's say you have 30 kernels, and we might expect you might have 30 popcorn. This is the value of popcorns that we expect from the 30 kernels. So this is the... Theoretical yield. Because you have 30 kernel, so we expect theoretically we might get 30 popcorn. However, only 24 popcorn produced from the kernels. So this is the actual amount of popcorn that you obtain. So what is the percentage yield? Percentage yield equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100. So, percentage yield is 24 divided by 30 times 100 equal to 75%.